think Frankie and Bridget started off... Well, like, certainly for Frankie, I think there were defences up. There was a little bit of friction that they had to move through. Good on the riders because they gave us all this passion to play with and then the, the cameras would roll and it would just happen and we'd kind of go, oh, that was... I think it was slow burn too and it was their intention. Like, I do think they wanted it to go that way, but it was kind of that incremental thing of how do you break down the walls, particularly of this character, yes. and how do you honour that in this setting? So they could never kiss, they could never hold each other, and they were like, they're put in prison in this situation. Yeah, it's a pressure fine. cooker. You, go, you never know when you're going to fall in love. I'm alone in here, Gidge, and if I get convicted, I'm going to wither up and die. I just want to hold you. It was almost inevitable between those two. You know, I think there was always this level of honesty and truth that just said, well, we can't be anything but ourselves with each other. We can't be anything but honest with each other because it was a soul connection, I think. I fucking love you. I fucking love you too. It's not over. Bye, Frankie. Frankie and Bridget have come through a great number of obstacles, and I think that's a testament to their love and who they are together. Frankie and Bridget leave in a state of hope and mm. love, which is kind of everything they stand for, really. In a lot of ways, it was all facets of Frankie's life coming together. It was. You know, finally, she's a free woman and she's who she's always wanted to be. Finally, you know, she has her partner. Finally, she has her dad and her little sister, her family. I think it was a lovely, full realisation of everything that Frankie has been working towards since season one. New Wentworth. Tuesday, 8.30 on Showcase or stream on demand.